Hi there, welcome back. In this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to apply rule-based styles to your map and zoom levels uh, restrictions so that only certain features are visible at certain zoom levels. Um, this is very important in street level maps as obviously you don't want to show everything at every zoom level otherwise your map can look very cluttered and busy. Uh, before I do that though, I just wanted to show you a great resource on the internet uh, for all of the OpenStreetMap data. Um, it's a basically a wiki, so if you click on the link you now, it'll take you to this page. Um, and it basically has everything that is in your attribute table. So for example, the highway one, basically highway would be your column heading, and the values would be what's in the cells in your attribute table. So it's basically a great reference for everything that is in the OpenStreetMap database. So it helps you decide what you want to show, what you want to hide, or what it's actually referring to. So let's go back to QGIS and let's apply a rule-based style for all of our green areas on our maps, so the parks and the meadows and the fields and things like that. So let's double click on the layer, choose a rule-based style, and go to simple fill, I'm going to turn the pen off and I'm going to use the colour picker from my illustrator document for the grassland. OK that and let's go up to the filter. So as before in natural earth lessons you've got all of these fields and values. Now you're going to need a couple of them in this one and the ones you're going to need are the leisure and the land use and natural and the column headings you're going to use. So I've done this previously so I'm just going to copy and paste in the ones that we need. So basically any of the um, columns which are leisure land use or natural that have these categories in them, park, garden, green, meadow or grassland, it's going to show them. Now at a high zoom level, so when you're zoomed right out, I only want to show the ones which are important and the method I use for deciding that is to see if they have a name or not. So if the name column has got something in it, then it's probably important because they've gone to the trouble of naming it. They're not going to name every little bit of grass on a, in a city, but if it has got a name, it's probably important. So you need to put parentheses around your choices here. So that it basically says all of those and name does not equal. The exclamation mark equal means does not equal and null. So basically if the name column isn't empty, as in it hasn't got null in it, it's actually got something in it, then apply this, show all of these. So let's OK that. And now we want to apply the style, the, rate, the zoom level filter. So let's click on scale range and I'm going to choose from as far out as possible. So one to one million and we want to choose into 50,000. So from one million to 50,000, this rule will apply. Everything under 50,000 and it won't apply. So let's OK that. Let's just double check it has actually done one of the apps there, 1 million to 50,000. So OK that and hit apply. It's just going to take a bit of time to render. So now we go. So that is now all of our grassy areas that have a name at that zoom level. OK. So now we want to do another wall based style for to show all of the greenery below that zoom level. So let's double click on here and Add new, just a plus, and simple fill, same thing again, choose the colour, grass, OK that, and this time we basically want pretty much what we had before, but without the name. So this basically is everything that has these conditions, so show all of those. And this time the scale range will be from 50,000. So 50,000 to 500. So that's everything from 50,000 to 500. So let's OK that and apply. OK, and let's OK that. So currently our zoom level is at 293. So let's just zoom in and you'll see Now we're below 50,000. We're getting all of the tiny little grassy areas. If I zoom out one level, all of those tiny little grassy areas should disappear. There, see? Now we've only got the larger areas. 
So let's just zoom in again just to show you. So that area there, now we've got all of these tiny little grassy areas which haven't been named. So that is how you apply wall-based styles and a zoom level to your map. And then the next lesson I'm going to show you more of the same to reinforce it and also to show you how to change line styles. So we're going to add the line layer to our map.